So, hi everyone, my name is Silvana. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about chaos. I guess uh, all of you who have been attracted to this course, like not to this course, but to this lecture, have some kind of chaos or some kind of state that you would like to have it organized or just interested in how to keep in balance once your life is kind of starts to shake all over the place and all the structures, all the rules that you were used to kind of don't make sense anymore. Um, so whoever is not here for that, you can go out just so that you know you have the option of choice because I always prefer that you choose on your own, not that I choose things for you. Even though in today's time, do you really choose on your own? So the thing is, so I'm Savannah and my skill is actually storytelling. I've been doing stories since I don't know when. I was in improvisational theater, I was in stand-up comedy, then I did PR, then I did marketing. I went into digital marketing. And when I was in digital marketing, actually, I started to be interested in digital narratives, which actually means how to use data to make stories better. Because my honest opinion is that when it comes to story, why don't you just tell me which story would you like to see? Why do I have to go and think like, oh, what do the people want? Mm, let me think of all the people. And I'm really glad that in the times of the internet and in the times of all the information that we're actually able to store, you're making this job easier. But of course, if you have been, if you have been used to telling stories in a traditional way, which is actually you start with the, end, you start with the beginning, then you reach the climax of, you know, first you define there's a love relationship and then somebody goes away and then they search for each other and then they find and this is the end. You know, you have the exposition, you have the climax, and then the end. If you're used to this triangle, and if you're a storyteller, you constantly want to, okay, I'll finish the story, I'll make the story, it's going to be great, and then I'll show it to the people, and the people will like it, and yay, I'm doing this triangle, it's great. It's almost like the triangle of work. You start with a simple task, you know how to do it, you start with a task, you define it, you then do it, do it, do it, do it, you build it up, you finish it, you do a new task. And this triangle is constantly in your grade. It's pleasure because the triangle goes over and over and over. But then changes start to happen. And these are the changes that start to make issues. All of a sudden, the triangle is not defined anymore. You constantly start with the beginning. You go to the climax. You don't even know if you have reached the climax. And it constantly feels like you're pushing, but you're not finishing. You're pushing, but you're not finishing. You're pushing, and you're not finishing. And it kind of doesn't feel good if you don't finish stuff. And at that point, you start to actually think about what is it that is going on. And when things start to shake, when you don't know how to actually finish something that you, have, you were used to finishing, then things start to go bad. Especially if you're used to working all the time and work has become your passion, which means your life is your work. It's not a problem if you work, in my opinion, from 8 to 5 and, okay, you go home and at home you have a well-defined time. But if your lifestyle is actually your work, and all of a sudden you don't get the enjoyment, the triangle is not finishing, it feels like your life is constantly in the climax and you don't know where it's going to end. In my case, when did this start to become important? So I was in digital marketing, and I started to be interested in digital narratives, and I love fashion. So of course, the next step was I'm going to be a game lead in Amsterdam, and I'm going to lead a game of developers and artists, and we're going to go to Thailand for a month, and we're going to develop games there. And I'm going to fall off a scooter with my game artist. And then you know we're going to also put, when I come back to Amsterdam, we're going to start with Scrum, and we're going to input that technology, and we're going to just create games, and we're going to use data. And we're going to go to GDC in America, and that was in April, and I started in January. And you know we're just going to build a business, and we're going to go up and up and up you start seeing that there are a lot of triangles that are happening and none of them are getting finished and finished and finished, which also means that at one point you just can't handle all of that. And even if you're disciplined and used to, how are you taking control? At that point, when you start to focus on something and you lose focus of yourself, in my opinion, it's good to actually become aware of the fact that, well, humans break. That's the thing. Like, if you apply so much pressure to yourself and you're constantly pushing you, yourself over the triangle, you break. And that's why it's important that you explore your breaking points. And also, explore them before they explore you. In my case, at one point, because as I said, I came from a, you know, a more creative background. And when I launched into technology and you know, even started, okay, let me learn programming, it all fell apart because my language was not the language in which I should be doing things or the language that everybody else was using. So at one point, I didn't even know how to communicate anymore. 
And in that case, you know, you have to remember that you create things for humans, but you are also one. So that's why today what I would like to do with you is play a little game. Because once you are all over the place, and let's say like this, you have decompartmentalized yourself on small pieces that are now lying all over the floor, how are you going to assemble them back together into something that functions, into something that communicates to all your other people in the team, or to other people that are important in your life, and actually that this is going to be a structure that you like? How are you going to pull those pieces back together? And let's play a game because I'm not a professional therapist, psychologist, whatever. I'm nothing of that. So because it's a game, you can play it and then you can forget about it. Um, and it's a simple game, which means that the first thing I would like you to ask is everybody, please close your eyes. And I'm looking at all of you, so do please close your eyes. And just relax. And just think, now we're at level zero. Relax, close your eyes, just breathe in. I want to hear you breathing. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Currently, we're at your home base. Your home base is you. Just for the first thing we would like to do is just sense the human that you are. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Feel your fingers on your arms, on your hands. Feel your body. Feel where you're sitting right now. Just feel your whole body how it is. Your legs, your knees. Feel your hair. Just feel yourself. Feel yourself in a way that you are aware that you are a part of the environment and that at the same time, you are at your home base. This is your safe space. Now when we feel the safe space, let's breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Really slowly breathe in. Now really slowly breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Now ask yourself, hello me, what's my name? Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Now ask yourself, how am I feeling? Breathe in, breathe out. Just feel how are you feeling. Breathe in, breathe out. Now ask yourself, what is the work I as a human do? Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Take a really big breath in and now breathe out. Ask yourself, why am I here? Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Now ask yourself, how can I help me? Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now I want you to extend your arms and hug yourself. And I'm looking at you, so I really want you to hug yourself. And when you feel yourself hugging yourself, breathe in and breathe out. And just feel that when you breathe in, you expand. And when you breathe out, you expand in. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. On the count of three, we will leave your home base. We will leave your safe space. And we will return back to this environment that is the world.
we will, when I count to three, we will open our eyes and we'll be, we will be back in this environment. So first, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Three, two, one. You can open your eyes now. Welcome back. I hope home space was fun, because now we're going to the world. Because everybody tells me like, oh, you should tell them to communicate. And I'm like, oh yeah, okay, I'll just do a game. And everybody wants to play a game because it's a multiplayer game. Uh, now we're going to the level other. And first I want you to, you know, rotate your head. Now turn your head left. You can turn your head right. Now find a human. And I want you to sit next to the human. Yeah, if you don't have a human, find a human and sit next to the human. Yeah, and you have to be close. Yeah, move around. Let's do it. You can breathe in, you can breathe out. Yes, yes. Basic sorting, I love it. Do, everybody has to have a partner. So if you don't, let's come together right now. Okay, we're all sorted. I don't know how you choose, but that's how we do it. Um, now I want you to ask the human just turn to the human, look into the face of the human, and ask, how are you feeling? And the other human should ask also. Yeah? Okay, great. Now ask the human, okay, you see, it's going well, I love the energy. Now ask the human, what is the work that you as a human do? And try, don't give me like half an hour of LinkedIn, just, you know, try to be specific and quick. Like try to do it, even if it feels embarrassing, do it. Did we exchange information? Do we all know what you do? Like what do you do? Creative counselor, great. I'm a student still. <laughs> okay, so now task six and let's just focus a bit. Just, you know, let's do the suspense because this is like, this is the question. Now turn to the human and ask the human, why are you here? And answer whatever you feel like. Yeah, yeah, guys, let's do it. Demo diviso, demo. Yeah. No? Okay. I love how w once the information gets transferred, you can sense the dying out. It's great. I guess that's how the world's going to end. Task seven. Now ask the human, how can I help you? OK, and now comes my favorite one, hug. Let's hug it out. Hug it out. Demo, hug it out. Hug it out. Trust me, you're here. Hug it. Come on. Hug it out. Yes, come together. Are you hug? <laughs> yes, see, yes, I want this transmission of energy because when you don't know stuff, at least the energy sorts itself out. Okay, do you, now we're kind of relaxed. So if I would be really cruel, I would say, okay, now just explore everybody. Just do it, go to everyone, do the same mission, just do it, explore everyone, I, you know. But I have, I have just 14 minutes left. Actually, I have 10 minutes, 9 minutes left. So that would be quite an impossible task. And also, you know, the thing is that this would be the best way for me to actually realize what is the story that I want to do. Like, I would just go to everyone, I would just ask you, you know, I would call you, I would come home, I would send you an email, you know, how are you doing? Would you like to respond to a few questions? I don't know. Um, so it's not, a, it's not a thing to do. And the logic behind why we were doing this, the logic behind this is mindfulness. Why is mindfulness important? As soon as you start to organize yourself because things are not the way they should be and you're breaking apart, you start to search for a logic, for a structure that you're going to apply to yourself. But if you just push things onto yourself, you are, in my opinion, boxy because you're just, you know, you're trapped by, I'm just going to solve this like this, I'm going to do it, okay, right now, I don't care, it's just a solution, just do this, do this, do this, run it, run it, run it, run it, oh shit, it breaks again. Not a good thing. That's why, you know, here comes Nessie. And Nessie is like this mindfulness, like just be open and creative. Look at things from a different perspective. Just, you know, explore. Just put different things onto it. Put different categories. Don't just, you know, you're not what you are. You can be so much else. But honestly, where do you feel you're currently? 
Like, are you more into this? I just, you know, just need this thing. I'm just going to solve it like this. Or am I like, oh, let me explore everything. Everybody tell me everything. I just want to be everywhere. Because the thing is, too much of everything is bad. And I've, you know, experienced this. It, it hurts. And when you're deciding how you're going to organize all the things around or whatever you're organizing currently and trying to put it in order, you do have a choice. You can be a boxy or you can be a Nessie or you can be in between. In my opinion, if you're too much boxy, that leads to depression. That's my opinion. It's a game. Like if I would run it, if you would search and you would try to categorize and you would be constantly coming to the same thing, you're boxy and you're depressed and it's painful and you're inwards and it's hard and you <coughs> stop communicating. On the other side, if you are too much Nessie, you go and you want to you know, explore everyone, help everyone, solve everything, put everything on yourself. Just do it. Oh, I'm going to do it. I am the Messiah. Here I come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is here we are. That's a burnout. And the, the sad thing about a burnout is once Nessie goes there, also Boxty comes because they love to be together. They're like, ah, oh, yeah, it's a party. Yeah, you're going to cry all day. <laughs> and the thing is, once we're here, once you feel that, you know, when you look at the scale and the scale is this and you feel that the scale has tipped, honestly, you can try first to mend it yourself, you know, stack overflow suggestions, body, get more sleep, seven hours or more, hydration, stop coffee, stop green tea, do water, healthy food, remove alcohol, even though it feels like you're saving problems, and remove drugs, although it feels like you're relaxed. You know, smoking, you know, I always said try not to because it's your choice, I say. And exercise, get your body into shape. Okay, we're still feeling the pressure. We're still kind of left or right. We go to the heart. Talk honestly with yourself, what we did the first time. So the exploration of yourself. Still kind of, you can't order it? Write a journal. Just journal to start structuring your thoughts. Okay, still can't order it? Start talking honestly, and this is the main part. Honesty with your partner, with your friends, with your family. If the talks go for too long, and I'm saying that you're starting to talk for months and months, you're not ordering it. They can't help, they're gonna get a burnout. Then acknowledge things take time as a human just so that you relax, because if you're here, you're still not ordering it. And then explore your breaking points. Start to observe. <laughs> Are you running into issues? Are you getting aggressive attacks? Are you getting panic attacks? Are you having you know, fights at work, fights at home, fights everywhere? And then start reaching out to community for help because at this point you have started to narrow it down and it still doesn't make sense. And then we start to going into the mind because once we have realized it's somewhere back because we have done level zero, we have done level other and still it's somewhere back. Start working with experts, and with that I mean life coaches, professional therapists, and psychoanalysis. When I broke my head, I did it all. I don't have shame. It's like I went because I am not the master of this, somebody else is, and you should also get paid for it. And then invest in education, because if it's a problem at work or something that's not just communication, it might be that you have not, like that the skills that are needed, you don't have them. We, like technology has gone crazy overboard, so it might not be in you. Oh, no. And then maybe in the meantime, just so that you still keep sane and have fun, do something creative or different because it's a process. It's a long process. In my sense, it took two years and it's still taking. Then invest in meaningful relationship. This is something you do already in advance because it's important that you start to talk because at one point you will not know what you're talking about. And then the most important, just embrace yourself in this moment. Mindfulness is actually embracing yourself for what has happened to you, that it's different and that you cannot have control of it. And once you realize that something is changing and you have changed, that you just embrace it, that you just take yourself for what you are and then embrace the change happens and brings a whole set of new experiences. In my case, I'm currently now continuing studying. I'm a digital humanities, Kai Leuven. I'm talking with people from this faculty, with Barzupan, with Alia, Erika, with Valeria. Like I'm talking with so many people because somebody has the information that I don't have and that's why it's so important to reach out. So to, you know, all in all, humans break, explore your breaking points before they explore you. You create things for humans, you are also one. This is so important. I'm currently doing values and software design because you should be having into an account 
that we're doing this for humans, so also take care of yourself. And to forget yourself, sometimes, you know, you must first be yourself. That's why return to your home base. Return to your home space. Ask yourself, if the thing doesn't feel right, if it starts to feel like this is not the structure I want to be, I want to do, then start to explore other structures, other role models, other institutions, other work types, and just explore yourself. Of course, don't go into indefinite. Put yourself on a timeline. Surround yourself with people that will tell you you might be running into issues. And while at it, and this is, I think, that's why I'm so glad that I'm here, because otherwise I would never talk about it. While you're at it, at your exploration of yourself, what feels right when things don't feel right, and going towards the fact that every story has a happy ending, it's like the natural logic, or else you die. Um, you know, acknowledge that while you're at it, just surround yourself with community. At one point, when depression hits, when burnout hits, these are dark, dark, dark times. And what helps is that there are people who actually show you that they really love you. They will be there for you, they stand for you, and they give you the much needed support that even to yourself you can do. All the professionals in the world sometimes can give you a lot of things, but when you come back to the community and just throw some of the problems you have there and they help you out, it just makes you feel like, yes, this is great, I'll continue. And I think in the end, this is reality. Like, no matter where you come, we all learn how we structure things from the beginning and it's so simple, but even the most structured things in life have that gray zone where it's like, ah, oh, you're the master of everything, here you go. Go into this and let's see if you make it out alive. And as I said, every story has a happy ending. It's a triangle with ending, like with beginning, climax, and end. So I think also all of your stories have happy endings, but you have to explore what type of a climax you actually like and how do you like to finish things and keep on finishing. So basically, thank you. I love you all. Thank you so much for sharing my experience and I hope you had fun.